Hey, this is Phil Carlton. I got a question asking about adding a custom applique around an embroidery design. So I want to start by bringing in a design into the MySonet software. And I went to the MySonet library and found this little bear that I thought was cute, so I'm going to use that. And I'm going to send it directly into the software using the MySonet capabilities by clicking on this little paper airplane. When I click it, it's going to ask me where I want to send it. If I had multiple computers or machines running, then I could select them. But the only thing I have running right now is this computer. So I'm just going to click Send to my HP computer. It tells me it's sent, and it's going to take it just a moment, but it will open up a copy of the MySonet embroidery software. And there's the bear in our work area. Now I do want to go to a little bit of a smaller hoop. It's got the last hoop that I was working in. So I'm going to click on Change Hoop. And I'm just going to put a check mark in enter hoop size and take it to probably a 120 by 120. That'll just make the design a little bit easier to see. Now, if you can look at the white handles, you can see that we're working with one of our library designs, but it is a stitch file, and that's going to be important for this next step because the custom border tool, the easiest way to do this, is to work over in the stitch editor module. So to get to stitch editor, when you have an embroidered design opened in the software, all you need to do is click edit design up here on the home tab, and it will open up a copy of this design over in stitch editor that we can make changes to. I love how quick and easy it is to move between those modules now. Now we want to just create a custom border around this design, so I'm going to go over to the Border tab. And the tool we're going to use is this Border Embroidery. The Border Embroidery tool was added previously, but it will let us come in and add a border around a selected or a visible object. So when I click on Border Embroidery, it's going to look at the shape of this design and create a border around it. I want my applique to be a little bit closer, so I'm just going to reduce my margin here to about 5 millimeters. The next thing we want to look at is our stitch types. We could do a satin line, a running stitch, a motif line, or a triple stitch. Now I want to do a traditional applique here, so I'm just going to do a satin line. I do want to look at my options, and I want to recommend a width of at least 4 millimeters, up to maybe 6 millimeters, when you're doing an applique, so that you have plenty of thread making that satin stitch to cover the edge of your fabric when you trim it. I'm going to go ahead and click OK. And then I'm going to tell it here that I want to add an applique. And that's going to tell the software that when it creates this border, I want it to create the applique. Now we can certainly come in here and select a background fabric. Now this is just going to change how it's viewed on our screen. But it doesn't hurt to say, hey, maybe I want, let's look at this bear. He's got a purple shirt on, so maybe we want a nice, I'm going to do just a light green background fabric. Now, you can use whatever fabric you want, obviously, when you stitch it out, but it's just nice to see where your applique layer is. I also want to look at my applique options. And for this, I'm going to use just the standard applique. The standard applique, if we look at our information here, tells me that it's going to do a running stitch, then it will stop. We would lay down the fabric, it would do the tack down stitch, it would stop and we would trim away the fabric and then it's going to finish it with a nice satin stitch. There's really nothing else I need to do here. I don't need to worry about adjusting my running stitch length. The applique piece margin is really important if you're going to be sending this to like some kind of an electronic cutter. But for this example, I'm just going to leave my standard applique and assume I'm going to cut the fabric manually. So I'm just going to click OK. And now when I click Create External Border, it's added that applique all the way around the bear. We can see where the blue satin stitch is, and we can see the green fabric that's kind of showing us where the fabric is going to be in this design. So it gives it almost like a patch look. Then to get back over to my embroidery software, all I need to do is go File, Exit. And when I exit this program, it's going to close the MySonet Stitch Editor and type me back into my Sonnet Embroidery, and here's my design now with my placement and tack down stitches and everything that I need to do to do this applique. So if I go ahead and go to the Design Player, I'm just going to drag through this. I want to make it a little bit larger so we can see it. And if I start dragging through it, I'm going to see it's going to do the placement stitch. We would lay down the piece of fabric. It's going to do our tack down stitch. It's going to do our satin stitch. And then it'll come in and finish with all that bare at the end. And that's how easy it is to add a custom applique around an embroidery design when you're working in the MySonet embroidery software. Hope you've learned something. Thank you very much.